The family heads of the clan of Gilead, who were from the clans of the descendants of Joseph, came before Moses and the leaders of Israel. They expressed their concern regarding the inheritance of their brother Zelophehad's daughters. If these daughters were to marry men from other Israelite tribes, their inheritance would be transferred to the tribe they marry into. This would result in a loss of their ancestral inheritance. They brought this issue to Moses and the leaders, seeking a resolution. They explained that when the year of Jubilee comes, the daughter's inheritance would be added to the tribe they marry into, further diminishing their ancestral inheritance. Moses, at the command of the Lord, acknowledged the validity of their concern and gave an order to the Israelites. He declared that Zelophehad's daughters could marry anyone they pleased, as long as they married within their father's tribal clan. Moses emphasized that no inheritance in Israel should pass from one tribe to another, and each Israelite should keep the tribal inheritance of their ancestors. He established the rule that every daughter who inherits land in any Israelite tribe must marry someone within her father's tribal clan, ensuring that every Israelite would possess the inheritance of their ancestors. The daughters of Zelophehad followed the command of the Lord and married their cousins on their father's side who were from the clans of the descendants of Manasseh. By marrying within their father's tribe and clan, their inheritance remained intact. These were the commands and regulations given by the Lord through Moses to the Israelites on the plains of Moab by the Jordan across from Jericho.